Welcome back to Black Cat Crypto Club. I know, I know, I know I'm doing another video on this Peter Schiff guy. What is wrong with me? It's almost like I talk more about Peter Schiff than I actually do with Bitcoin. Uh, <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's not true. But that is does seem to be the case with Peter Schiff. You know, if you follow him on Twitter, he is constantly talking about Bitcoin. So anyways, guys, we are going to get into all of that. However, today is uh, today and tomorrow are the last days that you will be that we will be uh, focusing on Emory Farm Sanctuary and their animals there. So please go over and help out their animals. A few dollars goes a really long way for small sanctuaries like this. We also have the raffle for these guys. I will be drawing for that raffle on the 30th. So if you want to be in that raffle, make sure you go over, donate to them. Every $5 gets you an entry into this raffle. And what the raffle is for is a portrait of your pet like this. This is one I did of my dog. This is my dog, my first dog, Zeno. And I'm just going to kind of show you guys the, the progression of this painting here. And then the final product is just astounding. So if you want one of these, get into that raffle. Again, every $5 gets you an entry into the raffle. Now, where you're donating directly to the sanctuary, the only way that I know that you've donated and that I can put you into that raffle is if you send me a picture, a screenshot of your donation. So make sure you send me a screenshot. You can send it to me right here, Drake P269, uh, either on Twitter, threads, Instagram. If you don't have any of those platforms to get that to me, let me know in the comments. We'll figure out a way. Maybe we can do it on Facebook, something, but get into that raffle. Now I've listed in the description of the video, I've got everything on Emory Farm. Their PayPal is down in the description, their cash app, uh, Venmo. And if you just want to buy one of the, the portraits that I just showed you for your pet, if you just want to outright buy one of those from them, that money goes towards helping their animals, which is awesome. Great thing to do. They have a link tree and I have that also in the description. So go over to their link tree if you want to buy one of those and you'll be able to find it there. So anyways, let's get into this Peter Schiff business. Now, a lot of you might not know, but in my last Peter Schiff video that I did. I did a video on him. He went on uh, one of the mainstream news um, stations and he kind of had this small uh, short debate with uh, Natalie Brunel. Now, after I did that video, I posted it and to my surprise, Peter Schiff himself actually came by, watched the entire video and commented on something that was really late in the video where I was talking about gold being the analog, Bitcoin being the digital, and just kind, kind of comparing all of that to other uh, things, you know, digital and analog cameras, digital and analog um, watches, all of that. But he, he made a comment about that from his official Peter Schiff YouTube account. So I was pretty surprised when he did that. So I thought maybe I would get on here. And um, first of all, I am surprised and honored, Peter, that you came onto my, my channel and watched. Uh, thank you. But I do know for a fact that Peter has bought Bitcoin. And he's also used it, which which begs the question, 
Peter, if if you've used Bitcoin, if you've bought Bitcoin, you've used it, you know there's a use case for it, but you you continue to ref, you refuse to acknowledge that Bitcoin has value. If it has a use, surely it has value. But um you know, he, he continues to claim that Bitcoin has no value, has no use, but he knows better because he has, in fact, used it. And I can prove that, that he has bought Bitcoin in the past. So I would like to invite if Peter, if you are watching again, I'd like to invite you to the channel. I know you're busy. Um, and I, I've, I have probably 10 questions that I've never heard anyone ask you before uh, or never pressed you on these questions. But I know you're, you're a busy guy um, and my channel is admittedly pretty small. So I'm not going to take up a bunch of your time with 10, 10 questions. I'll boil it down to two, including this issue of you buying and using Bitcoin. So yeah, if, um, if you want to, to come on and defend yourself uh, against these claims, um, which I absolutely have proof of, uh, let me know, let's get together and talk. I'll only take up, you know, maybe five minutes of your time and we can kind of go from there. Now, for the rest of you, I, I will give Peter some time to possibly watch this video and respond to me. Uh, but if I don't hear back from Peter, I will definitely um, provide you guys with that proof that I have that, that Peter has bought and used Bitcoin. So I will, I will give that to you in a future video, uh, but I do want to give him a chance to respond to me. So, um, but here's something to think about guys. I often kind of think uh, about this. This often times kind of crosses my mind. And that is, I wonder if Peter hasn't, Seriously, I know he's bought Bitcoin, but I I don't absolutely know if he is is heavily invested in it, right? That and I don't I honestly I don't know if he even holds Bitcoin now, but I know he's bought it in the past. So the thing that crosses my mind is whether he is invested in it. And the reason that I kind of wondered that is I kind of think logically, like if, if I was Peter Schiff, if I owned um, gold, if I owned a lot of gold, I owned a gold company and I had customers in, in the gold space and then something like Bitcoin came along that captured my attention and I wanted to get into that also. How would I go about that? And I think what Peter's doing is exactly what I would do. I would, you know, I would have my customers in gold, my company in gold, and then I would go on mainstream news and on social media, and I would talk nonstop about Bitcoin. And not only that, but I would, I would come out against Bitcoin. Even though I would be heavily invested in it, I would come out against Bitcoin because to my gold customers, I would look like this uh, bastion of, of, for, for gold or a golden warrior, you know, for gold. And, but on, on, on the other side, I would be drawing attention to Bitcoin I would be making people, you know, question what is this Bitcoin thing, getting interested into it, uh, learning about it, 
And ultimately, what I would be doing is I'd, I'd come out against Bitcoin, but I would leave enough error in my thinking about this new asset that people would start researching and then maybe polarize it about it. You know, either you'd be very into gold or very into Bitcoin. Like you, he doesn't want his his customers of his gold company selling off gold and moving into Bitcoin. That is not what he wants. Like he definitely profits more off the customers that he has in Bit or in in gold than if they were to move and buy Bitcoin in self-custody or, or whatnot. So what he's doing is absolutely genius. If he, in fact, is heavily invested in gold or in, in Bitcoin, what he's doing is absolutely genius because he gets to keep his customers. He gets to make everybody in his gold side of the business happy with him. Meanwhile, he's driving adoption and interest into Bitcoin. So I don't know. I don't, I don't claim that this is what Peter is doing. I'm not claiming, uh, you know, that he is heavily invested in Bitcoin. I do know that he has bought it in the past and he knows that it's useful. And I will prove that. Uh, but I, like I said, I'm going to give him some time to respond, possibly. If not, I will share that with you guys in a, in a future video. But guys, please remember, go over to Emory Farm, donate, get in on that raffle, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.